We're going to call the meeting to order at 635. The Runway Board of Education meeting is called to order. The Board of Education is in compliance with Chapter 231 of the Public Laws of 1975, entitled Open Public Meetings Act. The time, date, and location of this meeting is appropriately advertised by notifying the retrospect, as well as posting notices in the Borough Hall, Runway Post Office, Mary Ball School, A Line Bingham School, Grace Downing School, and the Runway Public School District website. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Chair. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, I have the pleasure of announcing the election results from the November 6, 2018 election. <clears throat> For three-year terms, we have Patricia Adair with 1,629 votes, Samantha Spaulding with 1,677 votes, and Charles Buckheim with 1,559 votes. An unexpired one-year term went to Barbara Sams with 1,689 votes. At this time, I'm going to ask those four individuals to please come up with your agendas because the Oath of Allegiance is on here as well, so you have something to uh, ah, read off of. I'm not as smart in my ears. Yeah, no, but I need all that. Second, second, second. Now it's right on the third page. Thank you, darling. I always stand this way so it looks better on the camera. Right. You have to the camera, by the way. I know, right? I mean, <laughs> Wait, we don't want the camera? No, I'm saying that's why it's the camera angle. We want to make sure that you got the jury. Okay. Oh, 1,689 people. Yeah. Okay. So, I state your name. I, 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 Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established in the United States. And to the governments established in the United States. And this state under the authority of the people. And this state under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. I state your name. I state your name. Do solemnly swear that I possess the qualifications prescribed. Do solemnly swear that I possess the qualifications prescribed. By law for the office of member of a board of education. By law for the office of member of a board of education. That I am not disqualified as a voter. That I am not disqualified as a voter. Pursuant to NJSA 19 colon 4-1. Pursuant to NJSA 19 colon 4-1. And that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties. And that I will faithfully, impartially, and justly perform all the duties. Of that office according to the best of my ability. Of that office according to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Mr. Ayanichi has some nice, um, nice little. Election. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, nice. Uh, yeah. 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 We'll do a picture with each person. Yeah. 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 Mr. Osmond, four pictures now. We can just do this all at once. Okay, everyone get together. Squeeze in like one big happy family. One, two, three. There we go. Look. Okay, at this time, let's do roll call. Mrs. Dare. Here. Ms. Beebe. Here. Mr. Buckheim. Here. Ms. Davidson. Here. Mr. Lego. Here. Mr. Murray. Here. Ms. Panzarello. Here. Ms. Sams. Here. Ms. Spaulding. Here. Also present, Mr. Mark Iannucci, Superintendent, and myself. Sean McCarran. Hold on. <laughs> Within each of your folders, you guys have the code of ethics. Yes. Yeah. Come on. So annually, I have the pleasure of going over the Code of Ethics with the Board of Education. So there are 10 um, areas for the Code of Ethics. You guys get to keep the blue sheets. I will be collecting the white sheets that you will sign and return to me before the end of the meeting. So number one, for the Board Code of Ethics, and this is through the New Jersey School Board Association, 
and they require that we review these annually. Number one, I will uphold and enforce all laws, state board rules and regulations, and court orders pertaining to schools. Desired changes should be brought about only through legal and ethical procedures. Number two, I will make decisions in terms of the educational welfare of children and will seek to develop and maintain public schools which meet the individual needs of all children regardless of their ability, race, creed, sex, or social standing. Number three, I will confine my board action to policy making, planning, and appraisal, and I will help to frame policies and plans only after the board has consulted those who will be affected by them. Four, I will carry out my responsibility not to administer the schools, but together with my fellow board members to see that they are well run. Number five, I will recognize that authority rests with the Board of Education and will make no personal promises nor take any private action which may compromise the board. Number six, I will refuse to surrender my independent judgment to special interests or partisan political groups or to use the schools for personal gain or for the gain of friends. Number seven, I will hold confidential all matter, matters pertaining to the schools which, if disclosed, would needlessly injure individuals or the schools. But in all other matters, matters I will provide accurate information and in concert with my fellow board members, interpret to the staff the aspirations of the community for its schools. Number eight, I will vote to appoint the best qualified personnel available after consideration of the recommendation of the Chief Administrative Officer. Number nine, I will support and protect school personnel in proper performance of their duties. And number 10, I will refer all complaints to the Chief Administrative Officer and will act on such complaints at public meetings only after failure of an administrative solution. So please make sure you sign the second page and then you'll return those to me by the end of the board meeting. At this time, um, we will be taking nominations and election, we will do nominations and election of board officers. So at this time, I am looking for a motion and nomination for the office of board president. We will do nominations first and then we will vote after. I will nominate Samantha Spolin for president. I'll second that nomination. Yeah, Murray. Any other nominations at this time? Seeing that, I will close nominations. So, um, Chaz, at this time, I'm going to ask that you redo your motion since Samantha was the only one who was nominated for president. Right that you redo your motion and we'll then do a vote. Okay. I would like to uh, do my motion to uh, nominate or recommend Samantha Spalding as our board president. So, and I'll start that. Okay. And roll call, Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Buckhan? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Ms. Panzarella? Yes. Ms. Sams? Yes. And Ms. Spalding? Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. At this time, I have the pleasure of turning yeah. the meeting over to the board president. Thank you. And, and, I, and I had something for you as well, so I passed it on down sure. there. Thank okay. you. And to make it easier, I just put, I, Chaz put the white page in our folder, so that would be great. Wow. So we'll make them. Okay. So thank you very much. At this time, we need to officially, we're going to open up for, um, the role of vice board vice president at this time. We need motion. I make a motion for John Bachman, the vice president. I'll second. I, motion. Would, I would just like to step down. I appreciate the nominations, but I think every board member should have an opportunity to serve in the leadership position. So I'm going to ask that you remove my name as vice president. I want to give someone else the opportunity to work with Sam and, and the board in that capacity. But thank you. And now I'd like to nominate Naomi Davidson, Vice President. I'll second. Motion for Naomi for Vice President made by Chaz, seconded by Patty. Any other motions? So I'm going to have them repeat their motions one more time since Naomi is the only candidate, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, 
I'd like to reaffirm the nomination for Naomi Davidson as our Vice President. Thank you. And I'll second that. Motion made by Chaz for Naomi to be pre uh, Vice President, seconded by Patty. Roll, Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Buckman? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Ms. Panzarello? Yes. Ms. Sands? Yes. Ms. Spaulding? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Congratulations. And we need to change seats. Oh, congratulations. Right now. Okay. Could you get your calendars out while we're doing this uh, sheet change, this seat change for for board? Could you please get out your calendars? I didn't know um, what I didn't want to like get a step ahead of myself. I just wanted to know um, if we were going to uh, keep the meetings the same if they needed to change. Um, I'm completely open, my schedule, I don't know about anyone else, but I'm looking at you, Pat, because I know your work schedule. Go ahead. I'm fine with the way they are. You're fine with the way they are, so can we go through that real quick, though? Yeah. Is anyone else open? I mean, only because of the borough mm -hmm. complex? Yeah. Is anyone yeah. open I, to I, I'm happy to, it's just because I have the first Wednesday in month, the camp night, okay. and the second Wednesday month, I attend the zoning board meeting. Okay. So Wednesdays are not good for Not good for you. Anyone else have any other discrepancies? Do you? No. Oh, okay. I just, I didn't know. <laughs> Hold on. Let me that. check my schedule. So can we just go through real Tuesday, quick? The, the third Tuesday we say? Or? Third, because the fourth is the women's club, right. correct? So we have to say the third. So February 19th. February 19th. Can we like literally go through them just I'm, for? I'm going through as we All right, go ahead. Okay. okay. So we have February 19th. Yep. Then I have March 19th. 19th. Yep. March 19th is good. Then I have April 16th. Yep, and that's before break. Then I have May 21st. Then I have. June 18th, which is my only question is we usually, that's the last day as of right now in the calendar for students. Uh -uh. So we usually move that. That's, but we don't have to move that right now. I'm not, I'm no. not, let's keep it. I don't want to move it right now um, because we don't have, we don't know about the weather or anything like that. So let's keep it and then if we need to change it, we can change it in March or Once April. Once we usually Monday, usually. It's day. usually. No, I'll take snow. I agree. Yeah. Let's just keep it for right now. Keep we can move so it. So the 18th? The 18th right now. One strike is graduation. That, we don't even think about that until I'm after we can, work, we, we can always work around. I do know. Um, it's an agenda. It's not online. It's not online. It's not online. Oh, there's everything else. Forgot it. Weddings and things, but not that. My kid graduates. Okay. Yeah. Next. Okay. Uh, <laughs> July 16th, mm -hmm. August 20th, September 17th. Just remember that when we're planning um, back to school meetings. October 15th. November 19th and December 17th. Great. Seems to work all the way through the calendar. But for you too, right? Mm -hmm. Reorganization would technically be on January 7th. Oh, of 2020? Mm -hmm. okay. Say that one more time. Reorganization January meeting okay. would be January 7th and that falls within the first week as well. So we would be okay yep. with that. Um, could you just do me a favor? Because um, Naomi didn't have her calendar. Could you please just go through mm -hmm. them dates one more time so everyone has them? We have February 19th, <laughs> March 19th, April 16th, May 21st, June 18th, 
July 16th, August 20th, September 17th, October 15th, November 19th, December 17th, and January 7th. The next question would be is times. Um, Kelly, my assistant, will be putting together the advertisement that will be going in the newspapers regarding the meeting dates for the upcoming year. And then usually I will then forward that to each of you. And it will also be posted on the district website for all to see. Okay, so. Um, we can't start before 7 because it was hard for some of us to get here for 6.30, correct? Yes. So we're going to say at 7 o'clock. Is that okay with everyone? Yeah. 7 o'clock? Yeah, it has to be 7 o'clock. Any other issues or concerns? No? Okay, so then we can um, make that motion. Um, make a motion for the board meeting schedule for the third Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. in the Mary School Library unless we switch it up, switch application. which we will, the application Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need a motion for that. I'll make a motion for that. Motion made by Angel. Offered. Seconded by Pat. I think we're good. Roll call. Ms. Dare. Yes. Ms. Beebe. Yes. Ms. Ruckheim. Yes. Ms. Davidson. Yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Ms. Murray. Yes. Ms. Pedrello. Yes. Ms. Sands. Yes. Ms. Spalding. Yes. At this time, we need. Do we have um, before we go on? Do we have any volunteers for New Jersey School Board Association, Camden County School Board Association, or Camden County Ed Services Commission? No, we point Chaz for all that. Well, no, no, because <laughs> I was I was going up to the delegate assembly, so I, I don't mind still doing that unless someone else wants to do it. It's only two times a year, so it does, that does not bother. And I'm going to continue to serve on Kim County's Commission you like because I was elected their treasurer. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. So I have to stay on the floor since I'm going to be signing all the checks. Okay, great. <laughs> Does anyone else want to do New Jersey School Board? Yes. Um, no. I'm, I'm the assistant assistant um, delegate for the delegate assembly and for the uh, board of directors. So I have to be there automatically. But if anybody else wants to attend, it's open to everybody. Well, I mean, Naomi, the one day when I drove up there to try in in the pouring rain at seven, was how mad was I? I'm like, Naomi's here. I mean, no. Um, so we'll make we'll just keep both of our sure. names. But, but you, it's open to anybody. It is open to anybody. Yeah. Um, and you should go at least yeah. once or twice because it really is how like our government works. It's yeah. it's interesting. Yeah. Um, Plus, it's points toward your certification. Yeah, certifications as well. Mm -hmm. Camden County, are you are you on that board as well? No. Um, no, wait. no, I'm the assistant, I'm sorry, I'm the alternate delegate, and then I'm on the alternate board of director for Camden County. So Do you go to that meetings is yes. what I'm saying. So, yes. so I'll, I'll put both of our, we'll put both of our names okay. for New Jersey School Board and just your name for Camden County if you don't mind. That's fine. Because you go to that meetings. To there, you yes. have to be there anyway. Okay. Who's the Sometimes voting delegate for the district? I, that report okay. I have to give. Because we have to submit at least one name to vote for the district to that is. Right, but then if I can't make it, I let you know well in advance because I know that they, the dates come out like for May. It'll probably be out shortly. Soon, yeah. And if I, if for some reason I can't make it, which I, I, I would just pass the buck to Naomi to vote for us, like we did. Um, you can also have an alternate on the Camden County Educational Services Commission. I've been on it for two years. I only missed one meeting. That was in December because we were down in Texas. Dan agreed to go to that meeting, so uh, I don't know if anyone's interested in being an alternate. You probably wouldn't have, probably wouldn't go at all. Okay. The circumstances were just, a, you know, it was the only time we could get down to see our family. Pretty wide open. So. All right, so Dennis, you want to be so the alternate, the alternate then? Then? Okay. Thank you. I think you can have an alternate for New Jersey school boards for the delegate assembly for voting as well. Yes, that's, you can. That's why I want to put me and Naomi's. That's fine. In this system, though, we mark someone as voting and someone as alternate voting. Wait, 
Right, so then what I'll do is I'll make sure they know well in advance that I'm not going if I can't make it so okay. you can vote. That's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Alternate Dennis. One question. Yes. Would that be an issue if she ends up being the delegate for the county that day or whatever? Like if Gail wasn't there that day and you had to take Right, then it would be an issue. Uh, honestly, the it's May date isn't usually an issue for me because May I'm open. It's usually during football season and it was like playoffs and I had to travel. It was usually the October, November one that was a problem for me. So the spring isn't a problem. So we have plenty of months to figure, to figure that out. Mm -hmm. So then we need a motion to approve New Jersey School Board Association, Samantha and Naomi, Camden County School Board Association, Naomi, Camden County Ed Services Commission, Chaz, alternate Dennis. I need a motion. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Dan. I'll second it. Seconded by Maria. Roll call. Ms. Adair. Maria. Yes. Ms. Baby. 17. Yes. Graduation. Mr. Buckham. Yes. Ms. Right. Davidson. Yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Mr. Murray. Yes. Ms. Panzarella. <laughs> yes. Ms. Sams. Yes. Ms. Spaulding. <laughs> yes. Which passes. At this time, I need a motion to for approval of minutes for December 18, 2018. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion made by Maria. Yes. Seconded by Angel. Any questions on the minutes? Roll call. Ms. Adair. Abstain. Ms. Beebe. Yes. Mr. Buckham. Yes. Ms. Davidson. Yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Mr. Murray. Abstain. Ms. Panzarella? Yes. Ms. Sams? Yes. Ms. Spaulding? Yes. Motion passes. So just so you all know, in case you didn't take a look at this earlier, all reports and things will go back, will come back as normal um, in the next, at the next meeting. Um, financial report? Do we have one for period in December 2018? Correct? That's, that's monthly financials, yes. Yep. Okay. okay. Just as usually filled in. We are paying bills. I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, I need a motion to... I'd like um, to make a motion to approve the financial report. Period ending December 2018. Motion made by Naomi. I'll second. Seconded by Dan. Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Buckheim? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Ms. Panzarella? Yes. Ms. Sams? Yes. Ms. Spaulding? Yes. Motion passes. Dr. McCarron already reviewed all of the New Jersey School Board Code of Ethics with us, and we will hand in our signed papers. No correspondence at this time. We're open for public comment. Does anyone have any public comment at this time? Mrs. Kelly, do you have anything? Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're certainly due to the new officials. And I wish them well. Thank you. Um, you don't, right? We're getting. I'm about to add this couple of things. Yeah. I want to let you know pre K four expansion is going on. You know, oh. Tomorrow will be one whole week that we're you know rolling with that. It seems to be going very well. Feedback from the staff. You know, sometimes the kids look like they haven't missed a beat. So they want to change teachers or whatever. And the new students have yeah, acclimated well. So the staff did a great job setting that up. Um, from top down, uh, from administration to teachers to free service to whoever. Um, it has been great. A little more hectic to drop off and pick up in, in the afternoon in the morning, but it's, it's nothing that's no tears. not going to handle it. Yeah, the only tears are usually from the adults, <laughs> so it's good. Um, so they have done a great job with that. I did send an email out and a blast out to parents right before break. We're changing our inclement weather delayed opening to 90 minutes. Um, hopefully, we won't need one of those for. At least a couple more weeks. Um, so those start times have been sent out to everybody. I'm also going to send another blast out this weekend because we are supposed to get something, you know, possibly on Sunday, which you never know. Um, we're able to get the buildings, our, our parking lot areas, and roadways kind of clear now that we have our own plows to do that. We don't have to rely on anybody else coming out and waiting. So that's one of the reasons we made the switch to allow parents to get. You know, work on time, half hour before they work. We're ready, you know, normally an hour before we say we're going to be ready, but uh, we always get that extra time. We're, we're going to be ready at the 90 minute delay as well. So those times will be 9.15 for volts, um, four to eight students to pre-K will come in at 10 o'clock. Um, Bingham and Downing start at 9.45. 
Well, in info weather days, there's no AM pre K, there's no before and after care. I'm EP, I'm on Sorry, I, I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but just to let you know, there's no before care for anyone on those info weather days. And then the memorandum of agreement, I let you know in September, I believe, yeah. the meeting that that was delayed. I just got an email today saying that's been finalized. I haven't seen it yet. But, uh, you know, once we get that done, hopefully I can meet with the chief and we can sign off on that and have it maybe approved at the next meeting. So that's always something we have to do. And then facilities, we're still working on door upgrades, cameras, emergency lighting, sensors, emergency buttons, things like that. That's, that work's been ongoing. We want to have that stuff done over the summer with the little glitch with the hiccup with the contractor. Um, kind of delayed some of those things, but they are being slowly implemented. And I'll have a better report for you hopefully in the next month or so on that. And that's all I have. Happy New Year. Thanks. Happy New Year too. Sean? I'm preparing for end of year with assessments and also um, right now with the business office. Our audit is complete finite, like number wise, everything's done. However, no district has been able to um, approve their audits due to waiting for GASB 75. There, we were told it would be within the month. However, we haven't heard anything of that yet. So we know districts are um, getting concerned because as you know, as we move into 1920 budget, we use those financial numbers in planning our net following budget. So right now districts are looking to see what approvals can we have in place um, for the board to approve something tentatively until they're able to finalize the audit. So we're just waiting for the exact wording on that. Um, and we're preparing for QSAC. Uh, Mark and I will be going to a major review with the county office next Monday. This Monday, this Monday coming up. And then um, that's kind of where we are. And preschool, preschool documents are due and reporting is due. And this is all a new uh, cycle of reporting that we're taking care of with the new funding that we're receiving, so all positive things. Great, thank you. Uh, I don't know where I read that the reports would um, come back next month. So Maybe it's for the principal I, nurses. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but other reports, does anyone have any questions for uh, Sean or Mark? No? Anyone have anything to add, Camden County um, at Services, school, bur school board? No, not they had nothing major yeah. happening last month, just bill payments mm -hmm. and the planning and zoning board meetings until tomorrow night. And okay. I'll, be, I'll be attending, so I have nothing there. All right, great. Anyone else? Just from last month's meeting, yeah. I, talk, I did talk to Chaz. I, I thought it was pretty interesting. That, um, they're, they're, they're working on putting the program together for special need people after they graduate high school. And I know Triton does an outstanding job of this now. And uh, they were discussing it and coming up with plans and actually partnering with some companies outside uh, to find employment and to hopefully maybe bring some employment back into the school systems. Mm -hmm. So I thought I found it to be very interesting. I just thought it's it's in its uh, you know early stages, but they're they're definitely working on it. And um, Triton does do an outstanding job with that. And hopefully you'll be able to do it throughout the county. Yeah. I'd like to reemphasize too what was discussed the month before, and again I hope that the principals have shared this information with the teachers that they have an agreement with Drexel University. Again, a 30% savings on working on a master's or doctorate degree in education by going there. You're looking at between $20,000 and $25,000 to get one of those degrees. So you're looking at saving six to $6,000 to $7,500. So you've got teachers that want to work on that next degree. I hope that you share the information and contact the superintendent at the Kenton Education Services Commission for information. That's significant savings. Yeah. All right, so. I, know, I know for New Jersey school boards, um, if you go on the website, you can navigate, way, navigate the website, there's classes already listed all the way through the springtime. Yeah. So you, can, you can't register by yourself, but you can you know, contact Sean if he can register you. I know I'm coming with you on February 9th. Okay. Well, not with you, but you know, in the morning, um, I, had, I went on and I saw that one there as well. Um, we're also getting ready to start negotiation at the end of the month. It's coming. Mm -hmm. So we're meeting right after this one to speak with their leads, and then after that we will meet uh, at the general. So it's coming. Okay. Keep us posted. Thank, Thank you. you. If there's no other unfinished business, we can move along to new business. Property and transportation. 
We have uh, one field trip. I need a motion. Motion being by Maria. Second. Seconded by Patty. Roll call. Mrs. Garrett. Yes. Ms. Beebe. Yes. Mr. Ruffin. Yes. Ms. Davidson. Yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Mr. Murray. Yes. Ms. Panzarello. Yes. Ms. Sams. Yes. Ms. Walden. Yes. Mr. Tess. Under personnel, we have one item as well for medical leave. Need a motion. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion made by Chaz. Second by Naomi. Roll call. Mrs. Dare. Yes. Ms. Beebe. Yes. Mr. Buckheim. Yes. Ms. Davidson. Yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Mr. Murray. Yes. Ms. Pinzarello. Yes. Ms. Sams. Yes. Ms. Spalding. Yes. For finance, we are adding one under professional development. Um, Charles Buckheim to Shallock High School on January 15th for governance board. Cost is zero dollars. Only thing is mileage. When is that? That January is January 15th. Shallock High School. That's the one you told us about before, the, the right? The title of the workshop is actually Foundations of Education, but they just for success, they accept right? that for your governance for required training. Yeah, we went to that last year. Yeah. 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 yeah, but it was a Deptford oh, High School. Shallock, it was, it was at Deptford last year. year. Shallock will be the closest to us. Shallock, yeah, Salem and Salem County. We can still do that online, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What? Six to nine Tuesday night. Yeah. All right, so we're adding that, and there was also one more added. Um, so we need a motion to approve items number one through six, please. I'd like to make a motion to approve number one through six in the finance. Motion made by Naomi. I'll second. Second by Maureen. Questions? No. Nope. Is it there? Yeah. Is it Yes. Yeah. Mr. Buckheim? Yes, sir. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Ms. Panzarella? Yes. Ms. Sams? Yes. Ms. Spalding? Yes. Motion passes. Under curriculum, we need a motion to approve items numbers one and two. I'll make a motion to approve items number one and two under curriculum. I'll second. Motion made by Patty, seconded by Dennis. Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Buckheim? Da. Ms. Davidson, through all my system. Yes. <laughs> yes. Mr. Lego. Yes. Mr. Murray. Yes. Ms. Benzarello. Yes. Ms. Sams. Yes. Ms. Baldwin. Yes. yes. Policies and public relations, we need to approve uh, the HIP report, please. I'll make a motion to approve um, number one HIP report under policies and public relations. Motion made by Patty. Seconded. Seconded by Angel. Roll call. Ms. Adair? Yes. Ms. Beebe? Yes. Mr. Ruffin? Yes. Ms. Davidson? Yes. Mr. Lego? Yes. Mr. Murray? Yes. Ms. Panzarello? Yes. Ms. Sams? Yes. Ms. Spalding? Yes. Motion passes. Again, we have an, um, time for any public comment. Yes, Ms. Kelly. Um, I just heard earlier in the meeting that everything is going very well for our three and four ex expansion. Now, we have the funding for five years. Is that correct? No, the expansion takes place over five years. The funding continues after that. Oh, it does continue? Correct. But they want you to expand over the course of five years to the point where you're offering preschool. So we will be funded. The, the, in other words, it's not going to end after five years. It is not. And we're not going to find ourselves in the red correct. after five years. That was my only question. And thank you for your service. My husband was a school board member when he was alive, and I couldn't believe all the work that they did. And it was an incredible amount of work. I mean, he was, he was really overwhelmed. And um, I did help him with a lot of it, and unfortunately, he wasn't able to finish his term. But he did enjoy being on the board, and I congratulate you all. What you do is phenomenal. It's a lot of work. And I really have to say thank you because our school children are the benefit of what you do and that's important to everyone. Yes. Mayor and Council recognizes and acknowledges and appreciates all that you do and I'm in awe of you and I really thank you for all your work. Thanks. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.
Can I make a comment? Sure. The preschool, uh, I went to uh, when they had the parents walk through and take a look at and I happened to see a gentleman that I recognized as the guy at the counter when I take my Toyotas here to run me to be serviced. And we got to talking, and he had two children that applied to come to the preschool program. And he, I, I think he was waiting to hear, and he said, if we can get our two children in, we will save $1,100 a month. Yeah. That's just one family. So I think besides getting these children better prepared for school Absolutely. when they go in the first that's grade, what all, that's what it's all about. The financial help that we're doing in this community for these families is phenomenal. Well, the other thing is it's very inviting to a family who doesn't even live in Runnymede yet. A here. lot of them Absolutely. research that before they purchase a home. So just think about the people that are looking and now hearing that the community they wanted to buy a home in offers it. It's huge. It was a huge saving for the children already enrolled. And yeah, I mean, another so thing huge. is when we when we when like when I grew up here, um, I didn't necessarily meet people from this side of the Black Horse Pike because I grew up by Downing until I was in sixth grade. My son is currently in fifth grade, should be in sixth grade, he repeated a year, and he has his same friends <laughs> that he met at three years old, doesn't matter where because they're all together, three years old here in this program. So they really are building, you, you think you meet someone when you're five, when you're ten, they're really meeting together when they're three and they're starting to play soccer together and t-ball and all these things so you're just building like lifelong community friendships as well even a few years earlier oh it's all to the board mm -hmm. yeah all right so there's no need for executive session and our next board of education meeting is going to be at 7 p.m here on tuesday february 19th if there's nothing else then um, i need a motion to adjourn motion made by maria i'll second seconded by dennis all in favor to adjourn? Aye. 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 A